Welcome back, Geek Nation. This is Geeky Pat with Geeky Pat Gaming, and we're playing American Truck Simulator. Um, just so you know, I did start recording a minute ago, and then I had some issues with the recording software. But we got it going, so what you missed was this. Um, let's go to the, the main menu here. Uh, we were in Nogales, so I took a job from Nogales to to the Grand Canyon. I kind of want to keep it in Arizona for a bit, although I do eventually want to go into California. I think California is a beautiful place. Uh, let me tell you, I am playing Euro Truck uh, Simulator 2. Man, I'm in Great Britain and it's so beautiful looking. I would love to visit there one day. Um, but California is pretty like that too. I mean, not exactly like that, but it's pretty, it's just it's so slow. We have such, so many truck uh, way stations and so many, it's such a slow uh, speed limit. But eventually I do want to get in here and maybe up here. But we're going to work our way. We, we don't have enough long distance really to, to get far into California. But let's see if we can knock out some of these places in Arizona. I haven't been to the Grand Canyon. Unfortunately, I'm looking here. And I don't see much unlockables when I looked. We were in the last game, which you didn't see because I didn't record. Um, we, we, we pretty much unlocked everything up to here. Let me just take a look. Yeah. So. And we don't have our own truck yet. I guess we'll unlock more. I already took the job though, so before I even realized that, so it's just a place we haven't been. We're hauling machine parts uh, from Nogales up there. It's a pretty long trip. Paid about ten grand, if I remember, which we need to. So, where are we at right now? I need to cover that again. So we have one long distance and one fragile cargo. I think the next thing we're gonna do is get long distance. There's no reason for me to get fuel economy right now. I don't own my own truck. When I do, we'll maybe think about it. Um, I probably will get one of some of these too, just to get some interesting cargos, but we're going to eventually have to get some in every one of these, but we can't max out everything in this game, unfortunately, from what I understand, so, yeah, um, we still have one garage of 16 grand, now whether, I said we might wait to level 10, let me know what you think about that, do you want me to wait till level 10 to get a truck, or maybe we'll get one earlier, a basic truck, but we won't be able to get one with an extended cab or anything, so, yeah, um, we are in a Kenworth uh, day cab, so let's take a look at the inside of the truck. I think we drove one of these. Yeah, I think we did. I kind of remember it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I think we did. Oh, I just love the details in here. I love this game. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the outside. So, that's an interesting trailer. I don't think we drove this trailer before with the machine parts in it uh, or anything in it. So that's an interesting trailer we're going to drive. This truck is kind of cool. I do like these classic style looking trucks with all their chrome. I do like the new ones too though, but maybe we get one of these too. Maybe we get one when we get down to it. I don't know. This one isn't ours, but what are you going to do? Let's start this trip. How do I get out of here? Looks like I could go this way. Okay. What's wrong? Oh, the brakes engaged? The brakes never engaged. Hmm. I actually don't even know how to unengage a brake because I never it's never on in the game. Maybe I accidentally hit something a minute ago when I was trying to get the recording going. Um, it was running in the background. Let's take a controls here. Um, brake axis. No, no, no. Brake axis mode. Clutch. Um, all right, let's go to controls. Sorry about this. Brake reverse. No, where's the air brake at? Trailer brake. I don't have anything on trailer brake, so I don't know how I could turn that on. All right, well, we got to assign something to it, I guess. Parking brake. I bet that's what I have on. Never mind. I don't have a trailer brake on. I bet I have the parking brake on. And I must have hit space before by accident. There you go. Now we gotta let the air build up. You can see it down there in the corner, just inside there. It's building up now. Okay. In real life, you could just rev it, and it would come up. 
Alright, so we don't have nothing that we're going to hit over here, which is nice. And we're going to clear those. So, I know I can adjust the mirrors, but once again, it's not my truck, so I don't want to waste time doing it. Looking at both mirrors, we're going to see if we can come around here. We all know I don't have the best luck turning around in places, so. We're going to take our time from now on. I rush too much and I try to take too many shortcuts for the sake of the video, but I think we're just going to start enjoying driving and I need to get really good at it. Which way are we turning left? I'm going to come forward more. I don't think anyone's coming in here. Oop, too forward. Alright. No one's coming. Door blinker on. No, 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 no. We're gonna have to come out more. No. Oh. And there's cars coming now. I mean, this happens in real life, especially when I was a newbie driver. I haven't done something like this in a long time, but. I was a truck driver almost a decade ago. It's hard to believe. Man, you don't ever get old. Speed limit 65, so... We're going to start hitting through some of these brakes pretty quickly. Brakes. I mean, we're going to start getting to 25 pretty quickly is what I meant to say. Yeah, and I'm, I'm loving Euro Truck Driver Simulator, but those who've watched it, Euro Truck Simulator 2, those who watched it know that I'm struggling with sitting on that side of the truck. It's really hard. I did find out when I buy a truck, I can I can buy one with this side of the, of the truck available where I can drive on this side. I don't know how that's going to affect me because I'm already having a hard time turning down the, what would be for me the wrong way, but the right way in Britain. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little wonky, but I think I'll get it. I've only drove three videos worth. That's three trips, I think. The first one probably had the newbie trip. I probably could have made that, but I don't trust the AI. In real life, uh, that guy probably would have slowed down for me or something if I started turning, but he has the right of way. We're going to let him have the right of way. We're just going to act, act like that's how they're going to do it because the AI in this game will kill you while well, they'll try to attack you. I don't know why. Um, it's getting better. The AI is getting better in all the truck sim games that they're putting together. Also, I was reading something, and I know the patch just came out, so I have to look. But I think they're putting in, like, heavy... I haven't read the news on it yet, but they're putting in heavier, uh... Uh... uh cargoes in and stuff. I don't know if that means we have to have more powerful trucks. I would think it does. Uh, I would love to know how you guys feel about that. I think there's, I mean, last I checked, there's laws that stop us from driving too heavy trucks on the road. So I have to, I haven't drove a truck in a long time, so maybe those laws have changed, or maybe they just don't care for the sake of the video. Uh, let's see if we can get up to 65 now. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I want to look into that. I love that they're always adding to these games. I like that they, they're sharing assets and stuff among teams. Because what they do is they're allowing what they invent for one game into the other game. And I just think that's so smart. Like, we had police officers here. They put police officers in Euro Truck Simulator, too. I feel like we're getting the best of both worlds that way. Look at that truck. I am looking forward to more brands of trucks, like Mac or, you know, some other, some other trucks that could come in here besides... Uh, Kenworth and and uh, uh, Cardinal Brain, brain Fart on the other one, the one I like. Uh, but uh, yeah, I want more trucks in the game. Definitely, I know that's a licensing issue, and then you got to design them once you get the licensing, and they're probably working on it. Um, I know they. Last I read, they're planning on New Mexico, which is cool. But I'm afraid they're not going to do all the East Coast. I feel like they. I mean, the West Coast. I feel like they're just going to do Texas next. I don't know why. I feel like Texas is big, and they want to give us a lot of land. But I really think they should knock out some of the smaller ones at the top up towards Canada. Which will open things up for modders, I guess, to go to Canada if they did that. But, I don't know. I would like to see the West Coast done. And then, I really think they need to... And they might have. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't work there. I don't talk to them. But I would like to see 
to just to complete the coasts. Do the west coast and start working over. I know it's a big project and there's a lot of land and a lot of pictures or however they do it. Um, cop, but I'm not even going. Oh, I need to pay attention. I'm not even going the speed limit. We'll knock this one out as quickly as possible to see if we can get another one in or we'll just start another video. But we need to start building up. I need about 30 to 50 grand, I think, if we're going to buy a truck early. I do think we need to be maybe level 5. I, I mean, I'm just saying. I think we unlock some stuff at level 5 or 6. I have to look at it again. Maybe we'll take a, a gander at that or maybe I'll do it off screen. Um, how's my fuel look? good okay and I, I don't need rest Dude, we're getting longer trips so I have to look now uh, that's not good go 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 oh that was my bad that was my bad it's good they don't have to stop and there's no insurance that guy just gets hit it's all good I need to pay attention I'm looking at other stuff all right well that was my bad but I don't think I got penalized for it maybe that maybe the game's taking into account and blaming him or something but I don't think I got penalized for it at all. Let's get into this lane here. Which is weird. I didn't get any damage. I didn't get penalized. So bonus. The game isn't a scumbag for once. Yay! I'll try not to hit anybody else's cars. In real life, I'm able to look at different mirrors. You know, people are smart. Actually, in real life, I would have just took that exit. I would have took that exit in real life, and then I would have just turned around. And maybe I need to RP this a little more and stop... Assuming it's, you know, I don't know. My bad. <laughs> Maybe if I'm I'm in the wrong exit and I can't get over, I'm just gonna get over. I'm just gonna exit and turn around because that's what I would do in real life. I wouldn't hit that car. So let's try to. I'll try to play this more plausible, more realistic. Please accept my apology. Yep. And now we're going. We're cruising. If I can get up to 75, we'll see. Although, on the scale that we have now, we should probably be approaching Phoenix soon. It's actually a two-hour drive from Tucson to Phoenix in real life, unless you're speeding, like I am. Look at that little train. Trains are so much longer than that in real life. I guess I don't mind because it would just take up more time, but if, if I really wanted a true sim experience, I would probably want it to be uh, longer, where I had to wait. I, I mean, if I wanted a true sim experience, I guess, I would want it to where I can only sleep in hotels because, yeah, I couldn't sleep in a day cab like that. I guess you could. I have told a story once where we put a board down. I don't know if I ever finished that story, but we put a board down to sleep when I was uh, doing slurry runs, which really aren't runs at all. You just like slept in the truck and moved it every once in a while it was a great gig for a while um, but they rotate people in out of that gig so it's not like you would be there forever um, problem with that is I wasn't putting any miles under me and, and I, I was a pretty new driver don't need that rest stop why are you breaking bro oh you're turning okay uh, turn, turn, thanks. It's like, why are you breaking, bro? I don't know, sometimes they, they break for no reason before they turn. I don't know. I feel like they could have just merged over, but, you know, whatever. The AI is fickled in this game. I imagine it'd be hard to program an AI to drive like every driver. Maybe some of these so would say and argue, Pat, these guys are driving realistic. They drive crazy in real life. Look at all those trucks over there. It's so cool. Drink, ride, lose. Yeah. Don't drink and drive, people. It's dumb. It's dumb. I was looking down at my map. I started to edge over. Okay, we're slowing down. No brake lights. I don't know why we're slowing down. Still 75, people. I could try to get in the next lane. But I don't know. I don't see that truck got over, and I don't feel like he's going to go any faster. I like this Kenworth, actually. It's 
not too bad. Like one thing I do like of mods that I would maybe one day try to use, which I'm not going to use in the series. Maybe uh, I'm thinking no, because I don't want to ruin any of the programming or anything in the series. Do I get off here? No. Um, is engine sounds and truck sounds because. <laughs> The truck sounds and engine sounds in this game aren't exactly accurate. I mean, some of them sound really good. Some of them don't. And the horns are really wonky to me. I don't know. Oh. I hit the wrong button thinking that was the horn button. See, it sounds like a car horn to me. And I got an air horn on top. I saw it. But, you know, I'm all honking at that cop. And I turn my truck off in the middle of the road. And the cop's like, who cares? Whatever, bro. You do you. I'll do me. I think I can get there from this lane still. Yeah, it'll 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 work. These roads in Phoenix are a little complicated. Even in real life, if you miss it, it's like a pain to turn around. But it is what it is. Oh, I'm speeding, I'm speeding, which would be bad in real life because on the interstate. Uh, cutting through Phoenix, there's all these cameras, dude. They can get you two or three times. These two speed cameras, it sucks. And all through Phoenix, there's speed cameras. Tucson, we uh, voted to make those illegal. Um, and I'm glad because they just don't do anything. They don't help anybody. They just generate revenue. You know? Didn't make anybody safer. Matter, matter of fact, I think it causes more incidents than it needs to because. People slow down right before they get to them, and you're on the interstate going 45 all of a sudden, and you're supposed to be doing 65, and everybody's just slowing down because they're they're worried about. I think I turn here, yeah. They're worried about uh, getting that ticket, so they slow down, and it just really causes this backup, and I think it causes more accidents than it saves people. Let's be honest, people are going to speed. I think there should be a leniency. I mean, there's this unwritten rules supposedly in at least in Arizona that you can go five o over and no one's gonna pull you over I, I don't I just do the speed limit in real life especially when I was in the truck cuz it's somebody else's truck and I didn't want to get tickets on my license and I didn't want points on my license and I didn't want a, a bad rep um, so yeah but people speed I mean that's just how it is and then putting up a speed traps just collecting money I don't think people are I don't, I don't know how many people actually go 80 I mean, I don't, I don't know. Ninety, a hundred. I mean, but like the autobahn, it seemed to work. I mean, people, you know, I never drove an autobahn. From what I understand, stories. Actually, I think Squirrel even told a story about the autobahn. If, if you don't know who Squirrel is, he's a uh, great YouTuber on uh, these truck sim games and other sim games. I just love watch. I can watch him play anything. I think I can watch him open a uh, uh, a soup can. Um. And describe how he's doing it. It's that fun. But yeah, no, definitely, I think in the Autobahn, people will talk about that people don't go crazy and they have no speed limit. I mean, I feel like people are smarter than we give them credit for. I mean, maybe you're, you're young and dumb, but yeah, I don't know. Looks like it's getting dark. use this hill to slow me down and then hit my yeah hit my uh, cruise control there which didn't kick in for some reason all right let's get up to about 74 or so this downhill up here will help me it's a heavy trailer but it's a big truck this trucks powerful it's just pulling it I don't even know it's back there I mean I feel like sometimes the trucks drive better with a trailer on the back than when you're bobtailing it. I know people, not me, but I know people who have crashed bobtails because they were used to trailers. And they were fairly new. Whoa, bro, whoa, bro, what are we doing? What are we slowing down? Oh, guy with logs. And we're going uphill. That guy was going fast. I don't know if I can overtake all these trucks, hopefully, before I have to get off or something. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm actually technically in a fast lane. In America, uh, this is a fast lane. Checking both 
Make sure I'm between the lines, checking both mirrors here. I'm gonna use this downward momentum, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna get over. That truck just seemed to be going slow for no reason, though. Doing good on fuel. I'm getting a little tired, you see, in the corner there. But I'm sure we're going to make it. Let's see. Now we have 19 hours to get there, and the trip the trip thing says we're going to take... i got to watch these guys break in. Sorry, hold on. Two hours. Oh, we're, we're, we're good. Yay, they're getting off at Camp Verde. Camp Verde. Cop can't pull me over. I was doing 37. Come on, chug, 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 chug. Let's go, engine. For those who are asking, yes, or who are new to this, I am playing with all the mirrors on and this on. I'm not I'm not good enough, and I don't have a track AR. I can't keep turning over like that. Uh, I'll crash. And uh, I can't play without the... There's two things I'm doing that, like, maybe Squirrel or other people can't do that are really are affecting maybe the way you like the game or not I don't know I can't play without that navigation thing at the bottom and really three because I'm also on simple uh, driving all I gotta do is brake and gas I don't have to shift any gears in real life I can shift the gears that's not the de deal it's just in this game I don't want to have to try to hit the button if I had a, a wheel and a controller I mean a wheel and a shifter and some pedals I could do it easier than with this with the controller um, so there's that, but also um, I'm not. I'm gonna slow down on this turn. Um, also, I um, I'm not parking the trailers right now. I'm just taking the less XP. But maybe I'll go to simple for a while. But what I don't want to do is spend three minutes of the game back backing in, and especially since I haven't practiced in this game much. Um, yeah. Look at all these pine trees. Oh, it's so gorgeous. As you get closer to Flagstaff, it's just our northern Arizona. And Arizona's a weird state. It really is. It could be 104 in one end of the state. And I can't get over it. too many trucks. And it'd be snowing in the northern end of the state. It's all desert in the middle. And it's green up in the north. It's green south court closer to Mexico. A couple times I had to cross into Mexico as a truck driver. And I was delivering air conditionings and stuff. Uh, near Nogales. It's beautiful down there. I would love to go to Mexico, but... Um, that's not in the cards, though. No vacation for Patty Pat. Nope. Alright, uh, this truck is killing me. But we are going uphill. I don't know if deers ever just hop out with that deer crossing sign. I don't know why I'm in a hurry. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I have 19 hours to do this. Uh, I probably need to turn my lights on, though. There you go. Oops. I clicked the wrong button just now. Yeah, you know, that's the lights there. I want to make sure it's not my brights. I don't think I... Actually, I didn't map the brights, because... Yeah, we don't need them. So the lights are on. hills pretty steep ah but it looks like we're leveling out we're leveling out baby oh man I kind of like this truck I don't know I probably can't even buy it because I'm at level 2 it's probably going to be a higher level truck I don't know what do you think when we go to buy the truck should we get a Kenworth or should we get the 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 I don't know, should we go for a new one too? Why am I brain farting on the name of that other truck? Uh, Peterbilt, that's the other one. Should we get the Peterbilt? And the Peterbilt has a classic looking truck like this too in it. Maybe we should uh, get the Peterbilt. Should we get a newer one or should we go for this classic style? I don't know, leave the comments in the below and see what you, I want to see what you guys think. <laughs> Holbrook, Flagstaff, Kingman. We're getting close. We're getting close. A little night driving. All the lights on like that. That's cool. OK. 
Okay, got a 65 right now. It'll go back to 75 here in a bit. Not that I'm even getting close to any of that right now. Look at this truck over here in my mirror, bro. Oh, it looks awesome. All his running lights on. I bet I look awesome, too. Oh, man, we're going to 55. Slow down, slow down. Boom. Wow, we dropped down to 45. That's crazy. Going downhill, I'm gonna, even though I'm at 45 in my... Set the brake. 45 on my uh, cruise control. Oh, my goodness, we're going to 30, 35 now. I haven't drove through Flagstaff in this game yet, so apparently when you drive through Flagstaff, it drops to 35. Oh, I need to turn up here. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Thank you, bro. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, man. I thought I was going to miss my exit. He's bobtailing it. Making no money right now. What's going to happen to us once we get our own trucks? 25 through here, okay. Just gonna go straight. Is that a tow truck? What is that? That's awesome. I have never seen one of those in this game. I mean, we can't drive those, but. And we're blessed with a green light here. And we can get up to 35 now. Was that like a school zone? <laughs> 180 East, that's how we're gonna get there. There's a the motel. Uh, I think we're going to get there before we need to sleep, but we are getting starting to get a little tired. Our gas looks good. I think we're going to get there before we have 330 miles, and we don't even have that many miles to go. 31. So we won't need gas. I imagine this thing has a pretty big tank, too. So Look at this construction over here. That's cool. Come on, bro. It's going to be 65. You're going to do 35 there? Let's go. The speed limit was 45. You guys are doing like 30. I don't really think deers are going to pop out or anything, bro. Just go. I kind of like these back roads. These little highways. They, they give you a nice little look. But they're normally only one way each way. One lane and... That does slow you down, but we got plenty of time. I, I mean, I'm I'm rushing this for nothing. We got plenty of time to get there. I'll get back in your lane, Pat. All right. All right. A little bit uphill, so the truck's struggling. It's struggling. Yeah, let me know. Peterbilt or Kenworth? I like the Peterbilts, but I don't hate the Kenworths. Out of the two, I think Peterbilts are my favorite. If you disagree, that's fine. Let me know in the comments. Should we go classic if we can? If we unlocked it in the level, or should we go? Should we go new? I like the new ones a lot, but these classic ones are fun too. Coming around the corner here. It's a really windy road. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Got to slow down on turns though. You don't wanna, don't wanna not take the turn and tip over or something crazy. Crash. Uh oh, 45, 45. Oh yeah, I was speeding for like two minutes, for like two seconds. So up here's our delivery. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm just going to keep going then. I was slowing down because I didn't want to speed, but we're at 55 now, so we're good. And we're going to stop up here and take a turn, so I guess it doesn't matter. Door blinker on. Oh, yeah. 555 five, five, divorce. 
bankruptcy, divorce, bailout. Dude, if you, if you had all three of those, wouldn't that be horrible? I mean, I guess you would need a bailout if you got arrested and you were bankrupt and you couldn't afford it and then your your wife leaves you. So you call 555 divorce and they take care of all that at the same time. All right, anyone come in? No, because I'm going to need a little bit in the front here to come around. There you go. All right, cool. We are here in the Grand Canyon. I was hoping to drive by the Grand Canyon, but I guess we don't get to. That'd be hard to model, maybe. All right. This is what I'm talking about here. Where do you need it? We have a challenging parking. It'll give us 90 experience. Play it safe. It's simple. So I'm like just straight back in, and I'm in a hurry. By now, I've been doing them in a hurry just to keep the videos going. Uh, but maybe we want more experience. We're going to have to get there if we're going to get to level 10. Oh, 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 level three. Oh, oh, almost level four. That was awesome. Because we got, look at this. We got our base reward of $9,000 and 582 experience. And then the proficiency bonus of 187 because we're like heck early. And long distance delivery bonus for skill rank. So we get $450 extra. That gave us 9,992. The 145 brought us to 727. Look at this. This is awesome. We drove six hours. All right, so... I get another level. Now, I was thinking about just go ahead and taking long distance. That would give us uh, 650 mile deliveries. 10% uh, higher in delivery distance longer than 400, which is good because we only get bonuses on 250. Um, and I think that, yeah, but that's at 25%. Does that stack, I wonder? I don't know. I'll have to find out. Uh, but if we go high cargo or just in time, we get 5% high reward on high value deliveries and 18 experience bonus on high value deliveries. That's right now bonus is good, but this gives us more money, I think. Yeah, 3% high reward to finish an import delivery. Uh, I'm sorry, an important delivery. And 20% experience bonus on finishing on important. Again, I don't need fuel economy right now. Uh, maybe because I don't own my own truck. Um, I'm not quite yet going to. Um, I don't, I mean, these would be interesting. I mean... They do, they, they would be very interesting. Gases, flammable liquids, you know, it gives us extra stuff we can deliver. But I think we want to go a little longer, right? Eventually I want to get into California and stuff, and I don't want to do it in, multi, in little trips. Plus, the longer we go, the more we get paid, I think. So, well, that's just the rules. We can help you grow. We could have helped notice your steady earnings. Yep. We would like to assist in potential... Uh, your credit limit is raised to 500000 In real life, I don't think it would work that way. Feel free to draw from the available sum anytime at your local bank center. Um, let's see where we're at. 26000 Let's go to a dealer. Let's look at the Peterbilts. That's where I want to look right now. We can't buy online, I bet. Yeah. Oh, so they have to buy at least three trucks for them to let us do that. Yeah, travel there. It's only we can we, right now. It doesn't matter because we're just gonna teleport back to to where we're at. So we're just gonna we're just looking right now. So we're gonna pretend like we're not even here. So the price is one nineteen on this one, and we're at level three. I don't think. Oh, we can buy one of these. So we can buy the Peterbilt version of that. Let's see what the inside of that looks like. We probably drove in one, but driven one. I mean, it's nice new. Very classic, very vinyl-y though, plastic -y. But, you know, the new one may not be different. I like how it has a little faux wood on it. Yep, so that's the classic one. Well, level 10, so we can't get, we, we're stuck with a day cab. Uh, we could go, no, they're all 150, aren't they? Uh, this one, what does it give us? Uh, has the tires down okay let's go to the engine so we have uh, level six we unlock a new engine at level four we unlock a new transmission level 10 before we can do anything there yeah those are all locked high high levels um just for curiosity's sake what do we unlock here level eight level seven level nine different side skirts are level four maybe we wait till level four. Oh, we already were here yeah all right i don't know let's leave this 
Yes. Because we want to cancel those modifications. I think we have to be like level 13, yeah, to get into the bigger ones. And then we have the new one. I mean, I kind of like the new one. Let's take a look at that one. Oh, wait, I wanted to look at something real quick. What was the price on this one? Oh, wow. It's a lot more expensive, isn't it? Oh, but it's just got that mean trucking look. Uh, but that one's 119 and probably more in our budget. And probably some things are probably unlocked more. Nope, level 10 on that one. Oh, but see a level 5. We go to the next level. I think there's another gas tank level here. At level 6, we get a different engine with more horsepower, probably. This one has a retarder for 10 grand. Yeah, that's just a normal interior. Oh, why we're here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we drove this before. I like this, though. I like the new style look to it. I mean, they both have their charms, right? Uh, level 4. Level 4. I almost like it's separated and not... Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Let's see. I was looking for air horns. There they are. Uh -huh. That's cool. I don't know. We definitely... Oh, it's a front mirror. It should be on the outside. Why am I doing that from the inside? Anyway... Oh, we can put a license plate where we just put geeky or something on it. Um, that's probably a mirror. Yeah, we can change the light. So, I don't know. Everything starts to unlock around level 5. We'll get more stuff at level 5. So, maybe we... Oh, that's cool. Maybe we... Uh, maybe we wait. Maybe we wait. I know we can get up to 5,000. I'm sure we're making enough money to support our own truck. But we're level... Let's see. Yeah, I want to exit the dealer. We'll go look at the Kenworths here now. Uh, here, see if they're a little better. But we have level three now. We'll probably we're almost level four. We we'll probably get to level five in a few trips here, especially if we take some longer ones with more experience. So I, I'm really thinking maybe we wait a little bit longer. That's the I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's look at the Kenworths though. If you're bored with this, this is how where I'm gonna end the video probably. So you can just switch over to the next video that will be uploaded with it. Uh, visit direct dealer. Yep. Since we don't own or run truck yet, we don't have to drive over there or anything. It makes things easy. I'm going to set the controller down so that way I don't have to hold it while I'm doing this. All right. So the first, we actually start off with this as the Kenworth first one. Did they have the new ones? They're only their second one. Oh, man. Yeah, I have to be level eight for that. I did like this truck. This was a truck we were just in. We were driving the W900 series. Um, yeah, this is just... I always... I keep forgetting that that's what that is. Uh, let's look at the inside of the new one. Oh, yeah. I think we drove one of these, too. Uh... kind of has that plastic interior and there's if I if I remember there's oh there is one right here it's a diamond oh it adds that it adds that to it but only to the sides that's it it's the same price so it doesn't matter so you can kind of have that plush look on the sides there I'm sure when we get a day uh, a, a nightcap on here it'll probably be more Hmm. Looks like the same thing. Level 5, level 6. Is, we pretty much unlock a lot more stuff. I mean, I, I like it. 
it looks oh yeah that's the modern one that's why okay let's go to this one I, I i love the ruggedness of these kind of trucks i mean like i said we can buy the other one but this one actually looks like it comes with more stuff with the air horns and stuff i had to add on the other one it is it is slightly more by a couple of grand maybe you know rounding up um let's check a look here at the interior yeah oh yeah this is the one we were just in see i kind of maybe i'm changing my mind i'm liking these kenworths more or at least I like this Kenworth. It still has this new interior look too, because I guess it's a new truck, right? Um, no, what this? Uh, it only had one option, though. I see. Oh, so you you do get the plushness. It's only a couple grand more. Huh. Huh. Now I'm torn. And you can still get. All the same steering wheels. I'm very torn. And that looks just as cool. I almost want to make this our company logo. It's not very professional though. I do like the red. What's the wine red look like? Nah, I mean maybe crimson red will be our trucks or all be red. Or if we go to that. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. I can go to a dark maroon. Maybe. Something like that. Or it kind of darkens. Could even go like a purplish look. <laughs> that's cool we'll play around with that more later um yeah everything's the same levels so yep no we yeah leave we don't want to buy this thing so we're not gonna we don't have anything to trade in anyway but whatever truck we buy is gonna stay in the company so it's it's i'm thinking it's either this one or the peterbilt that's not like this the newer peterbilt which is cheaper but not by much. It's really not by much, you know? So I don't know. Definitely don't know. We're almost at 30000 And we can borrow up to 500000 That I want to buy the truck too. But, I mean, I want to be able to customize some of it. So we're going to definitely need more money. So I think I do think not getting it now is good. Let's go to level five. They'll give you time to decide. And also maybe look at your, your comments here and let me know what you think you want the, the truck to get would be. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. Remember, you hit that little bell. It'll tell you every time the thing comes out. I also put them on Twitter when I come out too. Uh, so you look for those tweets, uh, and all, and all that. I really appreciate it. And I'll be putting out more videos. I'll see you next time on American truck simulator.